It's time for the FGS play-ins. Let me give you some context. This is the biggest tournament of my season. Basically, I need to finish top four out of 64 European players to make the playoffs. If I don't do this, my season's over. I'm on my holidays early. You'll catch me on the beach and we'll go again in EAFC 24. Why are we here today? To build the best possible pro team I can for the tournament to give me the biggest chance of winning. This really is all in or nothing. All the marbles are on the line. I'm gonna need a super team to assist me. Let's start with the best goalkeeper in the game. My first owner, Thibaut Courtois. You can have team the season. You can have shapeshifters, fantasy foot, rocket ships, any promo you want. You're not going to get a better keeper than team of the year Courtois. Packed him back in January. He stays in the team for good reason. He is simply unbelievable. At right back, we have his La Liga compatriot or rival. Probably rival is a better word to use. And it is a team of the season moments. Now, let me tell you about the restrictions before we go any further. I am allowed up to four. Icon, team of the year, team of the season, or team of the season award winners. Any other card on the team can be any rating and any promo, and that does include team of the season moments. So we have unlimited moment cards. My goalkeeper does not count towards any restriction. He can be anything he wants to be, and he's always going to be Thibaut Courtois. And loan cards are allowed. But don't worry, I'm not using too many this time. Now, where was I? Marcus Lorente. This guy is like an EA built lab design right back. That's how good he is. He's six foot. He's four star, four star. He's got every stat basically above 90 apart from his shooting and apart from some of his physical. But you get the point. He's very, very good and he's perfect to play right back for them reasons. At centre back, his friend, I don't know why they're friends, I've just called them friends, Lucio. We are back with Lucio, Trophy Titans hero. I don't want to use any of my four slots on a centre back. And I think Lucio is one of the best without. I mean, his pace is a little bit low considering it is June. But I don't mind it because as soon as you put a shadow on him, He's perfectly fine. He's been really, really good for me in previous tournaments. I need him to do it one more time. Next to him, I have a flashback PSG card, centre-back, that isn't Sergio Ramos. I have upgraded. Maybe I got bored of Ramos. Maybe Kimpembe excited me because he was team of the season flashback. But he is in. Presnel Kimpembe. At left back, again, not using a slot. We have Juan Captavia. I have used this card all year, literally November, December, January, February, March, April. You know how many months there is, and there is good reason. Captavia is a special, special card. He's racked up 400. That wasn't, that's not mine. Now, I'm not going to be horrible, but he's a little bit chunky. That's his only issue. If he wasn't as big or as wide, I reckon he'd be perfect. But still, Captavia is a very nice player, and that is a very nice back five. It offers me flexibility, it offers me pace, it offers me strength. And it obviously good defending. Moving into the midfield, I'm going to do this in an order. I'm going to do this in order of worst to best midfielder. So let's start left centre mid and we'll start with a moments card. Again, not counting to my restriction. We have Leon Goretzka. Wow. Wow, this card caught me off guard. I did not expect Goretzka to be this good. But he absolutely run the show for me in my last pro tournament. And that is why he stayed in. He's got five star weak foot. We do only have three-star skill moves, which is annoying. But then look at them stats. People, look at them. 80 balance, maybe one of his worst stats. Not a problem. He is also six foot two. And you can call me a genius. You can call me Guardiola or Big Ange if you want. But he can actually play centre-back in a back five. If I ever need to go in a back five, Goretzka is the one that drops in. So that is actually pretty nice. Then the next best centre midfielder I've got is... Jamal Musiala. Wow, wow, wow. You are unbelievable. I was not expecting him to be this good, but he is crazy. Five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, six foot. I mean, he's born in 2003. That makes me feel old. I was born in 1998. I need help anyway. 94 pace, 88 shooting, 92 passing, 98 dribbling with 99 balance and 99 agility. Seriously, I've told you about him. I don't care who comes out. I don't care what shapeshifter or team the season is offering me. Musiala is special. And I would say he's probably top three centimeters on this game. And the reason he's not number one is because number one is on the middle of the screen. Jude Bellingham, team of the season. He had an upgrade. They made him better. I, I don't know how they continue to make this man better, but they did. Four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. That is the upgrade we desperately wanted. Now, Jude, do we really need to talk about him? I feel like you all know how good Jude Bellingham is. And, you know... 
He's now going to Real Madrid as well. So that'll be interesting, EA24, to see how he links. But he has got the here we go treatment. He's not getting here we go treatment at Chesney FC, I'll tell you that. He is staying here no matter what. Now, we have three attackers left. And if any of you have used your brains, which I I'd imagine you have, I've used two of my four slots on Bellingham and Musiala. So you know this front three is going to be something special. And I'm not going to use my cam slot on a team of the season because I'm using team of the season moments, Neymar. Probably my most expensive purchase in FIFA 23. And for good reason, look at him. Look at him. I don't even know if he deserves a moment. I feel like EA put him in so sad cases like me can buy him because I don't even hear anything about him playing football. I just know, look at him, man. Look at him. 95 pace, 93 shooting, 99 dribbling. And I didn't mean to be disrespectful about Neymar then. I think he's probably the third best player of the previous generation, but I don't think he's pulling up too many trees at PSG right now. He is at Chesson FC. Don't worry about that. Neymar with a five-star, five-star. He is dancing. He's playing for me left forward when I play 4-3-2-1, and he's scoring goals. Skill moves are a joke. You can't get near him in the box, honestly. Honestly, if you do ever end up in a privileged position where you can spend that many coins on him, and I know I overpaid for him, do it. Trust me. It is worth it. Neymar is so good. Now, we have a few PSG players. We have Neymar. We have Kimpembe. No prizes for guessing. The next one is Kylian Mbappe. Now, team of the year Mbappe. I am sad, but I'm not sad enough to be able to afford him. So we have to use him on loan. He is the first loan card in this team. Mbappe, team of the year. I think he's better than the team this season for what it's worth. He's slightly, slightly better than the team this season. I was going to replace him, but I decided against it. Mbappe, as I say with a few of these guys, another club legend. Mbappe, Capdevilla, Lucio. These kind of guys have been in my team for ages. Mbappe has literally been in since the day I got FIFA and he's barely got out. All I've ever done is just upgrade him and upgrade him and upgrade him. To finish proceedings, we do have another loan card. I'm sorry I failed you, but <laughs> it has to happen. It has to happen. R9 Trophy Titans. R9 Ronaldo. The real Ronaldo, some would say. The best Ronaldo in FIFA, I'll tell you that, because he is special. Needs no introduction. Another card that I have been using all year. But with this juiced version, he is just so, so, so good. And still better than any team of the season that come out. I promise you on that. We need R9 to do the business one more time. Now let's look at the bench quickly in record time. You know what? Let's look at the bench in 10 seconds. Go. CR7. Bang. On loan. Mane. Varane. Son. Ginola. Alawaran and Torre. That was 10 seconds. If you have any suggestions for my bench, let me know. They cannot be team of the season cards, but if you have any other promo that you want to hit me up with, not icons, not team of the seasons, or not team of the season awards, then please get them in the comments. If you see any bench players that I have to be using, let me know. I'm thinking Alfonso Davis because I need a left back replacement. Catavia does get tired, so you know, maybe we do that. Anyway, play-ins, Tuesday, 11 a.m. on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Tom Lease underscore. Get there. See you there. Let's go for one last dance.